I still love watching the show and I will always blurt out the answers. I can't help it. I'm Julie Sloan Brannon, and I am a professor of English at Jacksonville University. I'm here because of Jeopardy, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Tell us about the conversations you had with Alex Trebek while the credits were rolling. People keep asking me about this, and I honestly don't remember, because you're just trying to process what happened, and a lot of times Alex will talk and, and you just end up smiling and nodding a lot, because uh, you're not really sure what to say. Uh, past contestants have said the most nerve-wracking part of being on the show is coming up with interesting personal anecdotes for Alex Trebek. Take us through the screening process and the questions you were asked prior to taping. Uh, the screening process, there's a lot of questions to fill out and that was the most difficult part honestly is coming up with something unique or interesting uh, to talk about yourself and you really have to rack your brains because when you want to think of something it goes away uh, so I enlisted the help of my husband and my children um, to try to come up with some things so yeah that was actually harder than anything else <laughs> one former contestant said you remember everything you get wrong and almost nothing you get right if this is true tell us about some of the questions you got wrong I think the one that will stick out to me the most isn't necessarily one I got wrong, but one that someone beat me to it. I teach the Epic of Gilgamesh every semester, and I love teaching it. It's a lot of fun. The students really like it as well. And on the ride from the hotel in the shuttle to the studio, uh, many of us were in education and we were chatting about the things that we taught and what we really enjoyed. And Gilgamesh came up and I had said that, you know, I really liked teaching it and we spent quite a bit of time talking about it. So when one of the questions came up that was about Gilgamesh, I was like, oh, I got this and I got beat to it on the buzzer. So I'm pretty sure my students will not let me live that one down. Former contestants have said being on Jeopardy has changed their view of the show. Some can no longer watch the program while other former contestants still watch but no longer have the urge to shout answers back to the television. Do you still watch the show and how have your views of the program changed? I haven't changed anything. Uh, I still watch it when I do have time. It's not always convenient uh, given our busy schedules, but uh, I still love watching the show and I will always blurt out the answers. I can't help it. I'm so glad I did it, not just because I was lucky enough to win and I felt like I'd accomplished one of my life goals. So, and that's it.